Good morning, you guys. So, I'm on my way to the store because we've got nothing because I've been working and, um, but it is really cold out. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous day. It's so beautiful. It's like that perfect blue sky. Well, I don't have to tell you. Let me show you. It's a perfect, like, blue sky, gorgeous, lovely, but the wind is whipping. It is so cold. So, um, yeah, just on my way to the store to go grab some things. Valentine's Day's coming up. I got my special guest coming uh, tomorrow at some point. So, it's going to be up for a couple of great days. Alright, so just finished my shopping and I'm on my way home. But I just came out of Walmart and the sky is like thick with smoke. I don't know what is on fire, but me and smoke, we do not do well together. So something is definitely on fire. It looks like possibly a brush fire at some point because Florida's kind of famous for those, but I don't understand why. We just had a ton of, um, I was going to say a ton of snow. No, a ton of rain. So I don't know what's going on, but remember how blue and clear it was? Look at, I don't know if you can tell how cloudy and like smoky it is now. It's terrible. So there's the eye, by the way. And just FYI, um, one, was I showing like the roof? I don't even know what I'm showing. Um, one of, man, oh man, it is smoky as all get out. It was beautiful before. Um, so one of the, um, uh, things around here. What the heck is going on with this wind? I'm sorry. It was like really super windy. Um, one of the things that it's, it's very hard to find a Walmart around here. That's decent, but the one just, if any of you guys ever need it, the one on Turkey Lake, um, if you go like you're going towards universal, um, whether you're South by Disney and coming North, or whether you're at Universal and coming south. It's on Turkey Lake Road. Just literally keep going down Turkey Lake and it is directly across from the eye, but it's a really good Walmart. They have really good quality. It's actually one of the best Walmarts I've ever seen. Really good quality produce and everything's super fresh. Like they were just restocking while I was there. Plus it's Wednesday, so it's usually a restock day. Holy mackerel, it is really, can you see that? I don't know if you can tell how like completely smoky it is. It's crazy. I don't know what's going on. I got a news alert and I thought maybe um, it would tell me what it was, but no. So I don't know what the deal is, but it's pretty bad. Um, the whole sky is full. Something big time's on fire. This is definitely a brush fire fire, not a like little something else is on fire. This is covering a lot of ground very quickly. Anyway, enough about the fire. Okay, I don't know if you can tell but that is literally the line of we'll see where that helicopter is. That's the line of where the smoke is versus the non-smoke. I'm just coming out of it now, but it's crazy. It's super thick smoke back there and then super blue over here. That's I've never seen that before. That's kind of wild, like right at okay, the line. so done with, uh, woo. I was just putting together a little Valentine's Day basket, but um, I'm gonna make some of those remember those brownies I was telling you about. So this is what I get. It's the Pillsbury um, mocha fudge, just because Josh likes mocha um, brownies. But you see, it's like a family size, so it's bigger. That's what I use to be able to make these um, brownie muffin cupcake thingies. I'll show you. Okay, so the only thing that I do differently than the instructions on there, my oven's preheating to 350. The only thing that I do differently is just your general cooking tip that I always do, which is to mix my wet ingredients first. So I've got my water, it's a quarter cup of water, um, two eggs, which I've just kind of left out at room temperature, and that's my phone. Okay. So back where it was. So then it's just two thirds of a cup of oil. This is just oh, that's not it. Hey, <laughs> make sure you do, do that because that would be fun. They used my wrong measuring cup. I was like, this doesn't feel like two thirds. Nope, it was one third. I mean, it was a quarter cup. All right, so there we go. One and two. All 
the reasons why I hate baking because you have to measure everything and it's got to be precise and I can't stand it. So there's that. Um, and then what I do is I whisk my ingredients together, my wet ingredients first before I add the dry ingredients. It's just a cooking thing. Like usually anytime I have wet ingredients and dry ingredients, I'll always mix my wet ingredients together first, then add the dry ingredients. So here we go. Next up and going to I mean it really is it gets a really good batch of um, brownies, but I my scissors. So here they are, all of my brownies. They're about three quarters of the way full. And I am going to put them into the oven at 350 for about 25 minutes. And by the magic of television. There we go. They are all done and look so pretty. Yes. I take them out a little bit before because I want them to be squishy and they will stay squishy and lovely for quite a bit. So there you go. There are Valentine's Day mocha cupcakes. Okay, so I guess this is the cooking day, but it is the cooking day. Um, so I have uh, spaghetti squash that I actually have had kind of since the fall really but squash doesn't go bad um, so I'm gonna go ahead and make that um, but I was just gonna show you, a lot of times people when they make squash or no I do instead of you cut it up a long ways with spaghetti squash you want to cut it round because the little strings of spaghetti will come up much longer like real pasta like real spaghetti if you cut it like this so I'm just gonna hollow it out and then put it upside down in water and bake it on 400 for about 40 minutes okay so that's the inside this is what it looks like hollowed out I'm just gonna put it um, in a pan with some water and let it go Alright, so there it goes in the oven, uh, cooking. 40 minutes, more or less. Just till it's nice and tender. shredded the spaghetti squash. Literally all you do is put a fork in it and pull it out and it just comes out in these lovely, lovely stringy shreds. See? So it's very, very easy to do. Um, and I'm going to fry that up in a little bit. But I am making chicken piccata essentially. So a light version of it. So I'm just sauteing up oh, some onions just to add some bulk to it. And I'm going to take those out and throw my chicken in. Okay, so now I'm just taking my chicken, I'm just going to put it in flour, and put it up to... Right, so here is the last one, just judging it. Hey, is it two? Yeah, it is. Wow. They're still a little frozen. There's something, I want to see. Heh, <laughs> who knew? Anyway, well, look at that, I get an extra one. So there is my chicken. I'm not worried about it still being kind of frozen. I know it's like really messy. It was like, I figured this was a good container for it, but not so much. Mm, yucky. And there we go. 
There's my chicken and the frying and the right, and usually I'll use white one, but I just got I've got cherry, so I'm just gonna use cherry. And fresh squeezed and lemon juice. I'm gonna pour that in. I'm gonna add a few capers here, which I'm not gonna be able to do without pausing. Alright, out of my capers and oh whoops. And my sauteed onions that I made earlier. I'm just gonna throw that in. Get them nice and in there. Add some flavor. And actually I'm gonna do another pinch of salt. I already have plenty of seasoning, I just didn't add salt, I just realized. And there you go. It's just going to sit and simmer for about maybe 20 minutes. And right, it'll be ready there to There it is. Some broccoli and but, um, some spaghetti squash and chicken piccata. Yum! So the camera died on me. But anyway, I was just going to show you real quick what I've been doing. This is my little Valentine's basket that I made today. But anyway, that's what I was doing. And um, the... the camera died. So anyway, I was just going to tell you this really cool story. So, um, oh actually I can't see. Um, it was actually pretty awesome because David's on the way down here, but as he was driving, there was like literally hit Tennessee, Nashville, and there was this massive snowstorm and it like, they were going like between 10 and 35 miles an hour. So I got on the phone and I was like, okay, Oh, well, actually, I prayed for him, and then he was driving and driving, and I was like, okay, I need to get more people on this. I called him back, and he's like, it's really bad, and he was like, there was like um, a big wreck, and he's like, people are sliding off, so I'm like freaking out. So I get on the phone, call my dad, I'm like, okay, I need you guys to pray. Texted my friends, and I'm like, I need everybody praying. He literally got to the end. If any of you have ever driven through Tennessee, or at least that road through Tennessee, which is 24 um, on the way up to Louisville, it is, those mountains are treacherous. I mean, they're treacherous in the best of conditions, let alone in the snow. So anyway, um, he was, he said when he got to the top of the mountain, he was like, literally, you know, I went on and looked, checked the radar and I was like, just pull off, just pull off because at midnight, the snow was supposed to stop. Like you would see the radar, but it was literally this huge swatch of blue that was, was covering all of Route 24, all the way down through Chattanooga, all the way into Dalton, Georgia. And I was like, just pull off because it's supposed to get out by midnight. And this was like nine. And I was like, just pull over to the side. That way, you know, this pl the plows can go ahead of you. And he's like, well, everybody's going. So as long as I just keep going. So he knows how to drive. I'm like, it's not him I was worried about. It was the other people around him. Plus he wasn't in his truck. He was in the, a rental car. So, which was not nearly as good. But anyway, um, so I, I, I was like, I was like, okay, you know, just be careful. So I'm like freaking out. So anyway, I call everybody to pray. He said by the time he got to the top of the mountain in Tennessee, which is the worst, he said literally there was no snow and the road was completely dry. Everything that the radars were saying were saying otherwise, but it was truly a miracle. And then he made it all the way down and is uh, in Atlanta right now. So thank God. <laughs> Sweet power of prayer. So anyway, that was it. Just kind of a cool little story. Um, I just thought I'd let's say, tell you guys. So anyway, I hope you guys have a good night. We will see you tomorrow. And remember, it is all part of the plan. Good night.